everybody welcome back to another week I'm gonna be filming another West Coast vegan recipe this week I'm gonna be doing some spaghetti squash with chickpea balls and a creamy roasted red pepper sauce and then the second part of it will be also the same sauce and chickpea balls on rice noodles as well so the spaghetti squash is more of like a lower carb version and then the rice noodles are just freaking delicious so either way this meal is amazing and it's super simple and i think that's everything that i have to say so let's just get into it all right so starting out with my spaghetti squash i just halved and de-seeded it and then i'm placing it in the oven at 400 degrees fahrenheit as well as my red bell pepper i just halved and de-seeded it and put that in the oven and one garlic clove as well and then place half a diced onion and one clove of minced garlic in your food processor a can of chickpeas that are rinsed and drained a third of a cup of gluten-free flour or regular flour and the juice from one lemon or lime I just had limes but I prefer lemons some salt and cracked black pepper and some paprika as well just for a little spice and of course some sriracha because I just love sriracha so much and then you're gonna blend that up until it forms a dough like consistency I added in a little bit of hummus as well and then I just form them into the size of the balls that I wanted and I place those in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes Start sauteing your onion and garlic, so one clove of garlic and half a diced onion. And then I added in a can of drained diced tomatoes, and I sauteed those together for a few minutes just to get off some of the liquid. I also added in some nutritional yeast. And then for the sauce, I'm starting with half a cup of soaked cashews the juice from one lemon or lime again I only had limes but you could use lemon two-thirds of a cup of coconut yogurt some nutritional yeast again and the roasted garlic clove as well as the roasted red pepper that I took the skins off of and then I added in some roasted garlic and red pepper spice and salt and pepper. I took out all of the insides from the spaghetti squash and I added that into the tomatoes and onions and garlic, sauteed that for a couple of minutes, and then I added in about half of the sauce that I had made into the pan. And there you have it. recipe it's super quick and easy to make and you can do it as like a meal prep and have it all week long the leftovers are just as good and yeah if you do make this recipe make sure to tag me on social media and also if you have any feedback or recipes or other videos that you would like to see definitely leave a comment or message me on my Instagram or email me and I so appreciate all the love and support that you guys give on my videos and my Instagram feed. So definitely keep doing that. But yeah, I think that's everything that I have to say. And I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you do. Otherwise, I will see you in my video next week. Bye!